Hey YouTube, uh, before we get started, I want to apologize to you guys for the delay in getting this next video out to you. Um, it's been, uh, well there's been an issue out here in the shop with uh, alcohol consumption and uh, hopefully you guys will understand. We'll uh, get to it here in a second and get the video going. So hopefully that's, uh, you guys will sit through and watch the whole thing. Hopefully you'll find it interesting and uh, yeah. So, all right, well, let me get the engine up here that we're going to be working on. You guys remember that H73? Well, I've been out here and I've got a bunch of extra parts now left over from it. When we were inside of it, we were talking about uh, looking at that camshaft, how easy they would be for them to make that a throttle governed engine. So... Yeah, we did away with all these parts and then I went to work with some atrocious woodworking skills once again and uh, well here's what we came up with you guys see that let me pull you back out there how's that so we fitted a water pump to it a water pump for that H75 the hold engine it has one of these on there now and uh, I made a video covering how that was mounted. You couldn't mount it flush up against this leg like the Holt is. And it didn't have enough power underneath of this O-ring. I put the flywheel in a lathe, turned a groove in it. <clears throat> and this little hit and miss engine didn't have enough grunt to run that water pump. So then I got to thinking and looking at it. And uh, this governor's on here, but it doesn't do anything anymore. And... The factory carburetor, this little guy, we don't need him anymore either. We ordered a replacement carburetor for that little M12 engine and we modified it. You can see that there's nowhere for fuel to get into this carburetor. All this is right now is just a fancy valve. That's all it is. And <clears throat> bought some brass. And this screen here and this cover here to keep it down but this is our inlet on the bottom side it pulls it through goes up through this pipe after it goes through the water pump cools our cylinder back out and then our hot water returns up here and with more throttle there's holes drilled in the top of this well, it sprays up so that there just keeps the water down inside the tank but speaking of tanks this doesn't have a fuel tank and uh this doesn't have a spot to get fuel into the carburetor anywhere well i'll show you what we we're talking about when i said a problem with alcohol consumption you guys seen one of these before pretty easy to make I'll take the top off this is just a a quart jar and this is just a, a ball jar is all it is. It's a vaporizer carburetor. Our atmosphere comes through here underneath of our fuel level, bubbles the fuel. This ball valve, you guys can see through there, you see it? That there controls your mixture. Then this here, piece of rubber hose, will go on the end of our carburetor. So, Let's dump our alcohol mixture into our fuel tank. We'll get our tank mounted here. Hopefully you guys find this neat. Um, there, it just sits right in between them. We'll dump our Everclear back in here. It keeps me from washing my coffee cup too, I guess, right? All right. Get this all put back together and get it hooked up. We'll see if we can get it to run. And remember, these H73s are a hit and miss engine. But this one's not anymore. It's burning alcohol. And it has, well, a more efficient radiator to actually cool it than, you know, this little gank here that didn't even have a water pump to pump water through it. So. Alright, I should have showed you the bottom before I put fuel in it. 
Hold on, let me get it picked up. Maybe you guys can see. We mounted all of our electronics underneath of it here. So we retained the factory switch, the factory ignition. It's all the same. Um, this cover is off of it because that allows me to put grease in here to keep those gears greased. And uh, we did have to adjust the timing a little bit. But, all right, let me get some water. We'll put water in our radiator here. Get where you guys can see this. Is that all right? How's that? There. Take that off so you guys can see the water running down it. There. Sometimes this thing can be a little bit tricky to want to start, but after it's been running just for a short bit, it pops right off. So it's cold. I mean, it's it was dry. So let's see if it'll start for us. Let's see if I can get my arm out of your way, and you guys can see all this happen. Mm -hmm. You guys are thinking that well there's no way it can have any throttle response we've got our mixture valve wide open right now so you can't see it's just the vapors that are being generated right now that's what it's running on. We need to mix it. I can put my finger over the top of this. Watch the bubbles down here. You see the bubbles? So. I guess that's what, uh, that's the, been the delay in why the videos haven't came out. I've been busy out here. I have recorded certain parts of it. If you guys want to see them, let me know. But it seems like everybody's always just interested in the final outcome so well there it is guys maybe we'll uh since we got a good cooling system i mean this thing's been running for you know just a little bit it's not even warm so <clears throat> sit there and put along like that all day long so if you guys have an h73 and you're bored with it this might be a fun little project for you and uh if you enjoy drinking Everclear, well, guess what? You can make yourself a drinking buddy out in the shop. So I'll shut up and let you guys listen to it. Oh, before I shut up, this governor, it's not doing anything. I mean, it's still hooked up to the lockout mechanism. We'll speed it up and I'll flick it and see if I can get it to lock out. Did you hear it? Skip. Lockout still intact. It's just not spinning because well, we got the gear for it right here. I'll let it sit here and run for a little bit. You guys can listen to it. Slow it down a little bit more.
you guys want to see a little hand start? Well, we know it's warmed up, been running, so. Sorry about that goofy hose in the way. Let's turn our switch back on. Well, there you go, guys. Hey, uh, I appreciate you watching. Please remember to like, share, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I mean, it's free, so it really helps me out. It'll help the channel grow. We can get out there, and more people can see the monkeying around that we do out here in the shop. And uh, well, we've got another uh, we've got another box here to open. So stick around. We'll open this box next. I'll get started on that now. You guys will get to see it in a couple days. So thanks again, guys. You're fantastic. We'll see you later.